Greetings and welcome back to the crazy, crazy world of Expat Taffy One. Our residential Mr. Magoo. And without further ado, shall we see what Mr. Magoo's Expat Taffy has to say for himself this time round? And it is crazy. The paradigm we're going to be dealing with, again, Paul the Moron, Paul Patton, is again in the fake Apollo 11 lens. I've shown you this before, but I've told you that in this photo alone, years ago I found 18 separate anomalies, 18 different clues proving that it is fake. And as I told you, this photo has now been deleted. It's gone. But it still contains the anomalies that idiot Paul Patton claims to be Paradolia. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. Two things is clear by your track record, pa uh, expat Taffy. It is you that is suffering pareidolia. It is you that sees crazy images and faces and animals in rocks and tin foil on the surface of the moon. No one else is. Everyone else is pointing out that it is you that suffers from pareidolia. And secondly, this is the image you say is not available anymore. It's funny that. I found it quite easily. All I did, as you can see, is typed in Eagle on the Moon and on Google search, and it came up and selected images, and there's your image. And I clicked on the link, and there it goes, opens up to a space site, first moon landing, 69, and there's the image you say is no longer available. NASA's apparently taken it away, have they? Now what we're going to do now is take a look at all the photos, the lens, showing Buzz Aldrin coming down the ladder. Okay, we're going to take a closer look at this photo here now, AS11-40-5867HR. Now, note from this what I've done for the benefit of idiots like uh, Cleric58 and uh, Cornelius Crew and, of course, uh, Paul Patton. I've numbered the steps on the ladder from one up to six. Now, what you notice from Buzz Aldrin's chest, he's got a strap hanging down. And that strap has got a clamp on the end bit. And as you can see in this one, that clamp is on rung six. Okay, get that now. And look at his boot. Funny enough how all these astronauts only come down the ladder on their right boot. According to NASA, they hopped it all the way down. Actually watch Buzz Aldrin come down the steps of the ladder from the lem and jump onto the surface of the moon way back in 1969 doesn't really seem to be hopping much and neil armstrong is in the behind him taking the photographs there you go His right boot, it's on rung two. Okay, now the belt buckle or clamp is on rung six and his foot is on rung two. Okay, what we got now, the next photo in the sequence of Buzz supposed to be coming down the ladder. This is 5868. And as I said, he only ever used his right boot. He come down he hopped it down according to NASA and if you look here now the clamp on that belt of his is now on rung 4 but look at his foot, his boot, 
it's come down from two to one. His boot has come down one step, and that belt buckle has come down two. Now that is impossible with general, genuine photography, folks. That's not the full ticket. Totally impossible. Like I keep telling you, this is not an astronaut walking down the ladder. This is an astronaut taken elsewhere and copied and pasted onto the ladder. And there's a lot more clues available to prove that. There's one important clue there that you'd have to be very, very brilliant to notice it because nobody else in the world noticed that. Only me, the brilliant expat Taffy. Seriously, Mr. Expat Taffy Magoo, you really cannot see what is actually happening in these photos. Well, this man here definitely could tell you the difference between these photos. And he doesn't have his eyesight. You really should have gone to Specsavers before you left the UK. Well, just looking at the photographs, it's, it is obvious. Even to the blind man, it is obvious that in the photograph on the right, Buzz Aldrin's body is at a different angle than to when he was t the picture of him was taken on the left, which makes the strap lower than in proportion to the ladder uh, in the right picture than the left picture. Something that's defi defying the laws of physics out. One item can come down two steps, and another item only one step. You are an idiot! Once again, let's have a look at Buzz coming down that ladder of the eagle on the moon. He seems to be descending quite normally. Um, and there's no pink flamingos in there either, is there, expat Taffy? Bang up. What's that? You've got even more hilarious revelations that you think that is proof of a fake moon landing, eh? Let's have a look at these. Uh, I'm sure they'll even confirm that you definitely need to see an op optician. There you are, folks. Take a look at what I got you. I've got croppings from the Apollo 11 LEM, supposed to be the same LEM. The first one is 5862. The middle one is 5863, and the right hand one is 5867. Supposed to be the same LEM, but look what we've got. The first one, 5862, the window was initially black, but when you brighten it up, it shows a flag, which you haven't got in the other two. Now, the comment I made there is, this twat Bertie Slack, when I showed this six years ago, he tried to say it's not a flag. He said it's a, a London sex sensor chart or guide for the pilot, and it's etched into the glass. But when I showed him the other two photos on the right, it proves that this idiot Bertie Slack was talking through his arse, because you can see with the two of them, supposed to be the same lem, there is sweet F.A. etched into any of the glass. And they are showing blue, and the first one was showing black. You stupid, ignorant, son of a bitch, dumb bastard! Jesus Christ, I've met some dumb bastards in my time, but you outdo them all! Well, let's have a look at the fuller picture, shall we? It's the picture taken of Buzz Aldrin preparing to exit the lunar module on the surface. And we shall have a look at the bit you were r going on about, which is there. As Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong deployed the flag together, it is not the flag in that glass window. It is the landing point designator, which was the in landing markings engraved into the window to assist the commanding the pilot commander on la uh, on his approach to the lunar surface and as to the uh, em the flag like emblem it's actually the reflection of one of the maneuvering thrusters 
on the uh, right hand side of the picture there. And putting the three photographs together, you can clearly see that all three photographs were taken at different angles. In the first photograph, it, the, the window is dark. And in the other two photographs, you've got uh, Neil Armstrong has obviously uh, moved and you've got more of a reflection of the lunar surface in the glass panel, which obscures the um, LPD. You clearly are trying to compare three completely different photographs together, which give a, a photograph with different light, source, light sources and therefore creates different reflections in the glass. And the, the, um, the two photographs with the uh, bluish glare on the uh, screen is obscuring the LPD. And now we can see Neil and Buzz together deploying the flag on the moon in, the shadow in, in front of the lunar module. So it couldn't have been the uh, reflection of that flag as it had not been erected when that, that when that picture had been taken. So you should go to Specsavers, Mr. Magoo. Using this picture taken behind the LEM, we can also verify that so-called reflection of the flag is not the flag. As we can see, the, uh, the flag is towards the what would be the left-hand side of the previous image. So it could not be reflecting in that glass window. And when you look at a car windscreen, we know behind that windscreen there's a driver's seat and the interior of the car. But at this particular angle with the reflecting light, that is all obscured. So, Taffy, have, where have you been for the last God knows how many decades? You've not... What world have you been living in? You are a complete fecking idiot. And for the rest of the video, old Magoo Taffy here goes on about whines and whinges about certain people and uh, complains about sock, it, sock puppets, etc, etc, etc. And then proceeds to go through his routine of insulting and hurling abuse at other people. And these complaints of him receiving abuse in comments cannot be verified as he del as he deletes comments he doesn't like, blocks people uh, he doesn't like. I mean, I got blocked from his channel after leaving a couple of comments to a video of his where he and he was convinced I was somebody else. And now he has resorted to de deactivating all comments on his videos. And now Taffy brings up his famous bit of paradolia where he claims there's a pink flamingo put in that photograph to prove it's a fake. It's Magoo Taffy does his usual thing of claiming a NASA whistleblower has put it there in the photograph when they photoshopped the image. And by comparing two consecutive images, we can see Taffy's pink flamingo is no more than the, um, the boot lining from a slightly different angle and quite a clear case of blatant pareidolia. And finally, Mr. Expat Taffy Magoo comes out with probably one of his craziest ideas with definitely a hint of paranoia attached to it. Let's listen. Now, NASA, you're paying $14,000 for these shills to protect your lies. What did you say? Now, NASA, you're paying $14,000 for these shills to protect your lies. <laughs> You serious? You're not getting very good 
money, value, are you? No good at all. Now, you can save a lot of money by unsacking these and just pay me $10,000 for my channels and I'll delete every video showing all the anomalies I've discovered. Anomalies that prove you fake the landings. Someone's village is missing their idiot. You get better video, better value for money, NASA, if you just pay me 10000 to delete every anomaly I've ever discovered. Look, you can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious! So, Mr. X Pat Taffy Magoo, that is a bit of paranoia there for you. You seem to think NASA are paying people to deride your videos. The fact that you uh, you make videos of pure crap and nonsense is beside the point. Um, you have shown no evidence, no proof of anything. The only proof you have shown is that you are very susceptible to um, a dose of pareidolia. That's pareidolia, not paranoia. Um, where you see faces in inanimate objects and uh, you think this uh, is proof of NASA faking the moon landings in the early early 70s and the very late 60s well sorry you have your your proof doesn't stand up at all because you seem to th forget in a lot of cases there's video imagery to back up these photographs and your whole, uh, whole argument relies on the fact that NASA employees whistleblowers as you call them in uh, after Photoshop was invented in the 90s somehow magically went back in time I don't know they may maybe maybe they NASA employees are given have got DeLoreans sitting at home but they Apparently they magically went back in time, planted all these images in order to cover up for their them faking the moon landings. Oh, on the other hand, maybe you could forward forward the uh, NASA uh, address that I can uh, claim my money for. Silly old sod. Well, you should have really gone to spec savers. And that's enough stupid for one week. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.